Trains are popping up through the region on poles meant just for traffic signs, but they have nothing to do with the roads. And tonight we're getting answers as to why they are or what they are actually. I team reporter Sean Haggerty on the story taking a look at what he's found. He's standing by tonight. Sean? Yeah, we spotted two of these signs, Lee, in different spots of town, Sylvania Township, and then some here in Old Orchard. You might have seen some in your neighborhood or on your drive as well. It might be hard to comprehend exactly what goes into the signs when you're driving by, but it is a very serious message. This sign has been attached to a stop sign in Toledo's Old Orchard neighborhood for some time. I think it's been about three weeks since I've noticed them. Katie Figgy has walked Jake past it a few times. It says survivors of OSU. I thought maybe it was an advertisement for something, like someone trying to sell their business. Clicking on the QR code takes you to this site, survivors of OSU. It's in reference to the sex abuse scandal from Ohio State University involving Dr. Richard Strauss. The university released a report a few years ago documenting abuse of at least 177 former students from 1978 until 1998 connected to him. People can not only learn about the case, but send an email to OSU administrators to encourage them to do more for victims and less to protect their image, according to the people that are running the site. Why these signs are popping up in our area and now isn't clear. They're kind of alarming. I don't really know why they're here or what, what they're doing. We don't know exactly who is putting them up here in this area, but you can see pretty close there. They're bolted on there pretty well. Now cities in the state of Ohio might have issues about where they're being placed on poles that are designated for traffic signs. We reached out to the group that runs the website that says they are a group of quote survivors, survivor spouses and supporters of OSU survivors, but we have not yet heard back from them on exactly what the organization is doing by putting these signs throughout our area. Reporting live, Sean Hegarty, 13 ABC Action News.